Greetings Oconomowoc staff. I'm here in the Oconomowoc High School band room today as we've reached the midpoint of the 22-23 school year. First, thanks to everyone across our school system for challenging and supporting our students throughout the first semester. It's been wonderful to visit our schools and classrooms and see students and adults alike engaged in targeted collaboration, productive struggle, and intentional learning. As we head into February and March, please continue to take care of yourself so that we can be our best for our kids while we're here at school. One of the greatest impacts on a student's academic and life success are the educators that they work with on a daily basis. Continue to hold our students to high expectations, provide them honest feedback about both their strengths and next steps, and push them to become unrivaled. I'd like to share an important update on our facility planning work. At our most recent meeting, our school board approved two referendum questions for residents to consider at the April 4th election. The first question addresses infrastructure needs at OHS and Exonia, including the original 1965 high school HVAC, an expansion of Exonia Elementary School to accommodate current and projected enrollment growth. The second question addresses programming and space constraints at OHS. The project includes renovating areas for music and art to provide more instructional space and storage, expansion of the OHS at cafeteria to increase seating, and the addition of accessible weight and fitness facilities, locker rooms, and auxiliary gym space. We have several information sessions planned prior to the April 4th election, and we encourage all of our residents and staff members to attend and learn more about these projects. Dates for informational meetings and additional information will be available on our website. Thanks for being a difference maker for our students.